chest, triceps and abs, baby. Oosh. Very good. Juvenile ab train bro. So guys, in this workout, um, I started off by doing some dumbbell press, um, some dumbbell flies, and some close plate press, all on the incline, um, hitting that upper chest, and this is the abs section of the workout. So as you can see here, I've got some, a couple of bits of weights on the uh, cable there, and this movement is really trying to contract the abs, you want to pull down with your abs, trying to bring your um, sort this, your chest to your um, hips almost so you're bringing your elbows down to your knees and you're really bringing that movement from your abs compressing and squeezing your abs and then slowly go up so that's a nice little tip to slowly go up and control the negative you'll really feel that in your abs build that six pack abs for you guys and then straight off the bat I went into leg raises now a nice little trick to do with leg raises once you've done your set is to go straight into knee raises um, it's really easy to do you simply bring up your knees to your torso so a little bit like um, the cable kill but instead of uh, having a cable you're just doing it free weight so it's your body weight moving against you gravity and you're trying to pull your core in nice and tight so you can see I've gone straight into the knee raises there really good superset really finishes off with a good burn in your abs and then finally we move on to um, these exercises which is kind of like a slow leg lift um, lying on the ground so the reason we're doing it nice and slow is to control the negative um, and to really work your abs really well um, it's a brilliant exercise for guys that are, are starting out um, help you build up your core uh, strength, core muscles and really activate everything from your hip flexors to your bottom and lower and upper abs. Then we've gone into the chest dumbbell press inclined. Uh, so hit the chest here as you can see. We're, um, I think it was going for 10 to 12 reps on this one and uh, then super, uh, doing a drop set. So really good way of um, stepping up your workout is doing drop sets really get the intensity going and uh, it really brings out a more intense way of training so your heart rate's still elevated you're um you're getting higher volume you're getting more uh, time under tension so you're building more uh, muscle and better quality lean muscle as well so good things to uh, put into your workout and try try them out at home um, and in the gym at home for chest you could do uh, just close grip um, press ups and then into like um, a tricep dip or something like that then we've gone into tricep um, cable pull downs I've got a 10 kilogram uh, dumbbell on top of the cable there, um, really hitting the long head of the tricep with this movement. Um, I've gone quite heavy, I lowered the weight down, um, this was just the kind of peak set so I wanted to go nice and heavy. This exercise, if you're not doing it, definitely you should be doing it. It's brilliant for activating your upper chest, so not only um, when you're um, after you finished your set you should do these but I'd say the most important time is to before you're um, going to perform an incline movement so if you're hitting your upper chest uh, trying to do an incline movement do these just before you do it so do it like a like a superset so you do a set of these maybe 10 to 12 reps on each Okay, so now we're moving on to the chest pullovers, and then um, I go from the chest pullovers into a 
super set of dumbbell press flat bench. So I really like doing this um, super set. It's um, a really good way of finishing off your workout because you hit the upper, well, the full chest from your pullovers, and then you're hitting the full chest from the flat bench press as well. The pullovers really, really good uh, way of. Uh, annihilating your chest really and then going in straight for an, another chest compound movement is a uh, it's ridiculous and you get such a crazy pump off it um, it's a I highly recommend this little superset really good way to chisel that chest because you're making so much blood just rush into that um, body part and then you're still keeping going like a it, it, it kind of shocks your body into like basically shocks your body into muscle growth because there's nothing that it can do other than grow. You're making it grow. It's crazy. Your body's like, what's going on? And then we got the uh, tricep extension with the dumbbell. Um, I've got the belt on for this because there's no uh, back support so I thought might as well uh, chuck it on. Um, and um, just a little pro tip is when you get to the top of the movement try and face your palms out towards the wall. Watch me create something beautiful. Look at that. Two little ice cream Oreos chilling. Chocolate peanut butter. Reflex instant way. Because it's post workout. So we want some protein. I can't wait for this, it's gonna be delicious. Some oats to thicken it up. Now let's blend it. There we have it. Oh. That is one of the most delicious post-workout shakes I have had in a long time. Or ever. Wow, that's delicious.
Today I'm doing chest, shoulders, my abs. Halfway through the routine. Uh, check out this weird thing with my tricep, okay? I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Okay, so I'm doing these. So it's just a little different. Oh, Helps to hit really inside your shoulder rather than you hitting all these external muscles. So uh, because your shoulder's rotating, you're trying to rotate the ball in the socket. Not so much that you're gonna damage it, but just so you're getting that movement and the inner fibers are working.